Okay. Liam, welcome to Dallas. Thank you, yeah. It, is it your first time? Yeah, it is. It's my first time in Texas. Really? Yeah. Is it anything like you thought it would be? I guess, I guess yes and no, but um, I guess because we're in a more, you know, a city area, I guess, I guess it is kind of what I would imagine. Cities are cities, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was looking back over your filmography, as they call it, and um, you have done a tremendous amount of travel in your mm. young life, haven't yeah. you? Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, when you did uh, the movie in Africa, I remember yep. Africa, uh, with Kim Basinger. Yep. Uh, what was the most memorable experience you had in Africa? Well, it was, it was actually kind of funny because we lived, um, we had the hotel was next to, you know, a game reserve. So, you know, we'd be sitting around and be like, what do you want to do? Eh, you want to go on, you know, safari? All right, you know. Was, <laughs> we went on like so many, we went on like 80 far safaris because, you know, there was like nothing else, you know, to do. So we just went on that because it was right next door, basically. And we saw so many animals, it was incredible. I guess basically the most memorable experience would be seeing all the animals. Did you take pictures? Uh, yeah, we did in the beginning, but then um, I think our camera battery died or something, and, and you know, and also you don't want to see, you know, um, as my mom has said, you don't want to see Africa through this, you know, you want to see it with your own eyes. So exactly, exactly. Then um, stepmom, where did you film that? Um, we filmed that in New York. Yeah, so uh, that was. You know, right next door from where I live, so yeah, it was it was a pretty easy shoot. You know, sleep in your own bed at night. Were you born in New York? Yeah, I was. I was born in uh, Lenox Hill Hospital. So. And what age were you when you did your first professional work as an actor? I was six. Yeah, so I was six when I started commercials. And what was your first commercial? It was Ford Windstar. It was a. Uh, it was they yeah it was a Ford Windstar commercial so it ran for a few years. Was this something you wanted to do, Liam, or did somebody just come up and say, "I think you ought to be doing commercials"? Um, well, it happened. It started off because I really needed a um, I really needed a uh, college fund, and um, that's what you know my mom wanted just to me to have a college fund, and she you know she's figuring well maybe if he if he if he does even do two or three commercials that'll be fine. So I did a few commercials, and my mom says, do you want to continue? And I said, yeah, yeah, I think it's fun, you know? So uh, it's just exploded from there. And you have no regrets? No. Mm-mm. I've had a ball. Uh, what about uh, Sweet November? Where did you film that? We filmed that in San Francisco. It's a great city. Yeah, it's a, it's a blast out there. Yeah. If you could live any place, where would you choose to live? Hmm. I don't know. I uh, probably San Francisco. I really like it there. I think it's just this, you know, it's uh, it's got all these hills and like if you're on top of a hill, if you're lucky enough to be on a hill, you can see for miles and miles. And you know, the Golden Gate Bridge, everything. It's just, it's you know, it's like glorious. It's just this like fantastic city. That's yeah. Now this movie. Um Good Boy, <clears throat> mm -hmm. excuse me. This movie, Good Boy, mm -hmm. you filmed in, in Canada, right? Yep, Vancouver. In Vancouver. What was that experience like? That was fun. That was actually a surprise, you know. Um, when we got there, we were like, oh, what's in Vancouver, you know? And because, you know, you, written, you know, you know um, Seattle has its Space Needle, and, you know, certain cities have its certain landmarks. But when, when we got to Vancouver, it's, it's incredible. If you're not facing the ocean, you're facing the mountains. You know, it's it's that kind of a city. It's just there. It's just there's so much it, you can see for miles and miles. It's you know, it's clean. It's it's just a great city. Mm. This movie, Good Boy, mm -hmm. I should think would be experiences like you've never had before. Yeah. With the dogs. Yeah. What's your most memorable day on the set as far as working with the dogs? Well, the the last day of shooting, actually, I'd have to say is my mem most memorable, because um, on that day, I, the production company gave me my own dog. So, uh, yeah, um, they set it up as a scene. I was going to be in the bathroom, and then I'd hear, you know, like, you know, scratching of the dog on the door, and I'd come out, and he'd be like, when can I use the bathroom, you know, and set up a scene, just like a little joke type thing. 
So we rehearse it, and it all goes well, and then we do it. And then when we film it, when I come out, um, my dog is sitting in a box with a sign next to him saying, I'm yours. And it took me about five minutes to realize, like, the whole, you know, like, for, like, my brain to process it, well, what felt like five minutes. And then we saw the tape, and it was like, it was, it was really, it was really a lot of fun. It was a great day. And what is the dog? Oh, he's, uh, it's a miniature greyhound. It's like Nelly. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Nelly. And what have you called him? I called him Kez. Kez, yeah. About it. It's, it's actually, it's just, Assuming your next question is probably why, but because <laughs> everyone does ask that, so um, I named him after it's a, it's an old it's an English movie about a boy in a kestrel, which is a small brown falcon, and he nicknames him Kez, and I wanted a one syllable name that was original, and you know he's a small the, it's a small brown falcon and he's a small brown dog, so. And do you spell it K E Z? K E S. K E S. Yes. Pronounced Kez. Yeah, Kez. Hmm. Okay. All right. For you, what was the most pleasurable thing about making this movie? I'd probably say just like going to work every day and seeing the dogs, you know? You see these dogs, they're all like happy, happy, and then when it comes to working, they're so like on the ball. They, they were spot on every day. They did their job so well, and they were trained. The whole movie is with without CGI, as I'm sure John probably said, and um, except for one shot, you know, the flying shot and um, and the talking, and what's incredible is they only had less than two months to do all that work, to get the animals to do what they do and do it so well. But because you were the human, were you under more pressure? In other words, you had to get everything right every time because of yeah, the dogs. yeah, exactly. If if um, it was kind of like it's one of those things where you, if the dog gets it right, you have to be good at right at the right moment. So you know you kind of have to, you know, choose your spots. Like if, if the if the dog, I mean the dog was, they were always great. So basically all you had to do was try and be perfect, <laughs> which is also it was very hard, obviously. But um, you know you just gotta try and uh, try and do what you're supposed to do. It makes it a lot easier. If there would be a sequel, would you enjoy doing another one? Yeah, definitely. I, you know, I'd like to see. Uh, I'd like to see if they used, you know, the same dogs. Um, and I'd also, you know, I'd like to see, you know, what happens. You know, what, how, where they go, what they do. I think it would be fun. Very good. Uh, do you have another picture that will be out? Yeah, I'm going. I'm actually starting one in November. It's a series of unfortunate events. The Lemony Snicket books. The uh, yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> And um, it's uh, directed by Brad Silverling, it's going to be. And uh, we start production in November, so, And yeah. where will you film that? We'll film that in L.A., yeah, on, in L.A. So. No exotic trip to the Far East? Or no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I take it you like to travel. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yes. Yeah, because you get to see, you know, you get to see different places and you get to see different people, and it's just, you know, I find it fun. It's a, an education in itself. Yeah, definitely. Liam, thank you for coming to Dallas, and thanks for your time today. I've thank really you. enjoyed meeting you, and I've seen you in your films, <laughs> and uh, I think you're an extraordinary young actor. Thank you. Uh, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you had to choose some place to live, where would you choose? I'd probably choose San Francisco, just because, you know, the hills, and it's incredible just to, you know, you look out, and if you're lucky enough to be on a hill, you see, okay. <laughs> Good Boy was shot in Canada. Mm -hmm. What was that like? That was, that was incredible. You know, going to Vancouver, you're like, oh, what's in Vancouver? Because, you know, Seattle has its uh, Space Needle, and, you know, every, every city has its, you know, trademark place. What was it like for you working with all those dogs? <laughs> well, it was a lot of fun. You know, you go to set every day, and they're just so happy to see you. And then, and then they turn into this, you know, completely different animal once they start working. Okay, that's fine. Um, what was the most memorable day you had filming Good Boy? 
The most memorable day I had was probably the day that I got my dog. <laughs> it was the last day of filming, and they set up a shot that in, I was in the bathroom, and then you heard scratching on the door. Yeah. And why did you name the dog that? Well, I named him Kez because it's it's reminiscent. It's it's name. He's named after an old English movie about a boy in a kestrel, which is a small falcon, and he names. Okay. What was the most pleasurable time you had making this film? I would say just going to the set every day, just going to work and have, you know, wanting to go to work and have a great time. Because this set was just so much fun. It was just, you know, the director, everyone was just great on it. What is your next project? I'm going to be working on a series of unfortunate events. It's a, it's a series of books, a lemony snicket. And uh, it's directed by um, Brad. Brad Silverling. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's directed by Brad Silverling, and um, yeah, that'll be a big one. That's a fun one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's mm -hmm. wonderful.